Hi all, this is Jayashree and today we will study valency of elements and how to write the formulae of compounds. In my first video, I mentioned uh, what is valency. It is the combining capacity of atoms and elements. It is just like we make friendships. If I can make two friends, my combining capacity and thus my valency is two. And if you can make four friends, your valency, that is your combining capacity is four. Anyway, it is practically not possible to study or by heart the valency of all the elements. So I have given you a part of the periodic table in the first video and I told you how to find out valency and oxidation number easily from that table. If you have not watched yet, please go and watch it and note it down. Today we will see what is valency in detail which will help you a lot in writing the formulae of compounds. Let us see some metals. To uh, study more about the values. First, I will take lithium. Lithium. Atomic number 3, electronic configuration 2, 1. I told you how to find the electronic configuration in the last video. If any doubt, please go and watch that video. Now, it has one electron in the valence shell, and I told you before metals are givers, they will give out electron to become positive, and they are electropositive entities. So they will give out this one electron. So valency is one. Valency is one. And it will become a positive ion that is Li plus one. No need of writing one there. It is understood. It is one. Now next is magnesium. Atomic number is 12. Electronic configuration is 282. 282. K, L, M shell, two electrons are there. Again, this is a metal, so it will give out electrons. It will give out two electrons, so valency is two, and it will become an ion, Ng2+. Next is aluminium. Uh, atomic number is 13, so it is 2, 8, 3, electronic configuration. Three uh, electrons in the outermost shell, it will give out these three electrons, so valency is 3 and it will become Al3+. This is how uh, we can uh, study about metal and its valency and what ion it will eventually turn to. Now we will see some non-metals. I am rubbing this, if you want to note down, please note it down. I am taking uh, the non-metal nitrogen. Nitrogen is 7. Atomic number 7. Electronic configuration is 2, 5. K, L, shell. And I told you non-metals are acceptors. They will accept electrons to make the uh, outermost shell octet completed. That means 8 electron in the outermost shell. So, this uh, nitrogen needs 3 more electrons to complete its octet. So, valency is 3. And it will accept 3 electrons. So, it will become N3 minus ion. Next is oxygen 8. Its electronic configuration is 2, 6. Oxygen needs 2 more electrons to complete its octet. So its valency is 2 and it will become O2 minus. Next I am writing fluorine, it's 9. It needs its electronic configuration is 2, 7, and it needs one more electron to complete the octet. So its valency is 1 and it will become F minus IO. This is how we are seeing the valency of the metals and non-metals but this is not easy to remember so I told you from the periodic table how to find out the valency easily. Now we will see what is polyatomic ion. Poly means many. Ion means a charged atom. Polyatomic ions means a, a group of atoms with a charge. Example is SO4 2 minus. How we will get this polyatomic ion and how we will get the charge, we will see better from the formula of acids. Anyway, you have to study the formula of acids, so better study the polyatomic ions from that. Example, H2SO4 is sulfuric acid. 
from this we will get the polyatomic ion SO4 and the number of hydrogen will be its charge. Its charge will be minus. Then name is sulfate. Next acid is HNO3, nitric acid. The polyatomic ion we get from this is NO3. Number of hydrogen is 1, so it will be 1 minus. Name is nitrate. Next is H2CO3, that is carbonic acid. Polyatomic ion we get from this is CO3. Number of hydrogen 2, so the charge will be 2 minus. Name is carbonate. Next is H3PO4, that is phosphoric acid. The polyatomic ion we get from this is PO4. Number of hydrogen is 3, so the charge will be 3 minus. Name is phosphate. Now, if you know all the valencies of ions, as I have shown before, and polymer atomic ions, now you can easily write the formula. Let us see how to write the formula. This method is known as crisscross method. For example, if I want to write the formula of magnesium chloride, magnesium chloride, I will first write the symbols of magnesium and chlorine. Magnesium is Mg. Chlorine is Cl. Now they are going to be bonded. Magnesium will ask chlorine, can you be my friend? Chlorine first will ask, well, what is your valency? Magnesium will tell, my valency is 2. So chlorine will tell, my valency is only 1. So you cannot be my friend unless and until you can accept 2 of us. That means magnesium should accept 2 chlorine. When you are crisscrossing it, you will get Mg1Cl2. That means magnesium 1 atom and chlorine 2 atom. This one is not needed. You can write MgCl2. So MgCl2 is the formula of magnesium chloride. Now I will show you another example. KCl. Let us take KCl. As I said, potassium will ask chlorine, can you be my friend? Chlorine will ask, what is your valency? Potassium's valency is 1. Where are you getting all these valencies from? You will get it from the periodic table. Please watch my first video again and see how are you going to find out the valency. Then chlorine will tell, yeah, I can be your friend. My valency also is 1. So it will be crisscrossed. Then the formula is KCl. Now, next to another example, I will tell you sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate. Uh, the symbol of sodium is Na. Sulfate is SO4. This is all I have explained before how to find out the valency. Now, sodium valency is 1, sulfate valency is 2. We will press close it. You will get the formula Na. 2SO4. This is how you are writing the formula. Now you can take any ionic compounds and see how to write the formula. Thank you so much children for watching the video. Have a nice day.